Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, and this week we're going to be playing with Quick Beam. Uh, Ian at Tales from the Cards did a Quick Beam stream last Friday, and it made me think about how exactly I would build him. And I came up with something a little different. Uh, my, my first plan was definitely an Ent deck, and it just sort of felt underwhelming. Quick Beam is already basically the best Ent ally, and when you bring him up into your hero slot instead, and you could do better. All right, so I built a more questing heavy deck. Uh, lots of draw, lots of willpower, got some significantly beefy allies. There are Ents, and the idea is that we'll just use Quick Beam for his big attack possibly a couple times around if we need it. And I am back going up against Wastes of Eriador because I think this deck will have a substantially better chance of making it through than the Dory deck. So let's get started. Uh, my encounter reveal for stage one was a treachery that did nothing because there weren't any characters committed to the quest. And this is my mulligan opening hand, so we're stuck with it whether I want it or not. Let's get started. Uh, double faint is pretty solid. I'd like to have some healing though. So first things first, let's deep knowledge. Brings my threat up to 30. Elrond's council will tick it right back down. Theron's runes draws me two and discards an elven light. Um, I'm going to discard an elven light for the resource on Arwen and then pay one to pick that elven light right back up. And I do want to stack up lore resources, so let's slide one over onto Biffer. Uh, I'm a little ways away from playing Furial, but Furial is so good that I think it's worth it. Uh, yeah. And I am going to quest. Uh, this will also be good if I get healing next round in my card draw. Anyways, questing. 4 from Arwen, 7, 10, 11, dropping my threat down to 27. So we get on the encounter reveal. Okay, I have to grab a warg, since I don't have any ally to discard. Specify which kind of ally, or which kind of enemy? Any warg. Awesome. So I can take this Wolf of Angmar, and my life will be quite a bit better. Not revealed. It is revealed. Never mind. Uh, that would surge, and I don't really want to deal with that. So, look at all cards. <laughs> can I kill any of these other than that one? And I'm pretty sure the answer there is no. I mean, I could pop a damage on the White Warg. The Northern Warg is not actually terribly threatening. Actually, yeah, let's pull out a Northern Warg because that shadow effect is nasty. Okay, so my 11 versus two, that's nine progress. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I've got quite a ways to go on this stage. Clear that location. Um, hmm. I don't have any healing yet, so it's a little dangerous to optionally engage this warg. So let's not yet. Though I might be screwing myself a little bit for next round. All right, we refresh. Flip this over tonight, which raises my threat by one and reveals and encounter card, raising my threat up to 33. That is substantially better than it could have been, uh, all things considered. I wouldn't have minded another location, but it could still be rough. Ooh, and there is Gandalf. Uh, let me... 
Here, one, two, here is a Defender of Ramas. And one, two, three, four for a Treebeard, exhausted. Uh, his action advantage is great, though I really wish I had some healing. Uh, let's discard this Elven Light for a resource on Arwen, which I will immediately shift over to Biffer. I do want to play Furial, and having those extra resources is nice. Alright, so, let's quest. I'm gonna send five, knowing full well that my threat could go up by this, but at this point I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so I sent five. There's five in the staging area. We tie. Great. North Downs goes to the active location. I am forced to engage Northern Warg. I realized I made one progress too many because I forgot about this one revealed effect, but that's not a huge deal. I do have enough to kill this Warg, no matter what I defend with. Uh, let's defend with a Marthial, because if I get a shadow that does damage, I'd rather have a Marthial hurt than the defender dead. I mean, he gets plus one, so he takes one damage. Wouldn't have mattered either way. Five attack, coming back, kills this Warg, and we are in great shape. Refresh. Flip this, oops. <laughs> Flip this over to day instead of night. No enemies to return to the staging area. On to the next round. Here is a resource on Treebeard. Now let me spend one from Arwen, pull this back, and draw a card. Perfect. Uh, discard the Elven Light. Throws down a resource on Arwen. Going to slide this over to Biffer. One, two, three. Welling Hall Preserver exhausted. Oh, I forgot Treebeard can ready Quick Beam. That's good to remember. Uh, at this point, I'm going to try a Pathfinder as well. Uh, the staging area is clear. Pulling out a location is not going to hurt too bad. It's only one though. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, I mean, it's not the best location. Could be significantly damaging, but I think we'll be able to get there. I also have faint, so I could cancel the attack from the warg that gets an extra uh, an extra shadow card. So I think we'll be all right. Uh, let's quest. 4, 7, 10, 12. And I can only make 5 progress on the main quest, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. We reveal Lost in the Wilderness. Alright. Well, that's a little more annoying than it could have been, but doesn't surge. So, my 12 versus 3 means I make 9. One, two, three, four, and then exactly one, two, three, four, five on the main quest. I cannot travel to Eridor Wastes because there is no Warg. Okay, uh, and that is really all of that. We refresh, flip this to night, raises my threat by one, and reveals treachery that does nothing. I'm also having much better luck this time. And we are on to the next round with one resource on Treebeard. Uh, this is great. Here is a Warden of Healing. Uh, let me pull back an Elven Light, drawing a card. Um, let me discard Elven Light for the resource and then immediately play it again to draw another card. Okay. Can't really do much that is particularly valuable with either of those, so that's all right. Uh, I'm gonna try and clear Lost in the Wilderness this turn, so let's push a little. Three, four, five, six, seven, ten, twelve. Yeah, I think that should be good enough. 
I know there's four threat locations in the staging area and I would still clear, uh, but there's some surging that might make it not happen. Okay, Wolf of Angmar surges into the Warg's Den. All right, so that's basically exactly what I thought might happen. Uh, but that puts us at three, four, eight versus my 12. So I make one, two, three, four progress. Lost in the Wilderness is cleared and in the victory display. And all of these cards come back to my hand, which means I will be able to faint this warg. Uh, let's leave this one for now, I think. Because I'm going to have to engage this Wolf of Angmar anyways. Yeah, alright. So I'm going to travel to Eriador Wastes, forces me to engage this wolf, deal it a shadow card. Nothing else to do during engagement, so I get another shadow card. This wolf is currently swinging at four with two shadow effects. So I'm going to say no thank you. And just for fun, we flip these up. Extra attack. Yeah, that would have been bad. Uh, but good news is it only takes four damage to kill it. So that's done. I will use my Warden of Healing to heal up a Marthiel. Yeah, things are looking good. Refresh, flip back to daytime, and we are on to the next round. Treebeard gets an extra resource, now I can ready and end. Gandalf would be really nice here, but I don't think I want to do that. Discard Elven Light, pop a resource on Arwen. Uh, I'm going to move that resource over to Biffer. And I'll spend this one to get my Elven Light back. Okay. There's two of these to put down a Defender of Ramas. Uh, having enemies, or having these things die when they get attacked is kind of bad. Because there are shadow effects that play off of that. But they still have good defense. So they're relatively safe. I want to play Furial soon, or more Ents. I just don't have any right now. All right, and it's daytime, so let's quest. Uh, I want to clear this for sure, and I can make a fair bit of progress. So four, seven, 10, 13, 14, 15. Right, yep, four, seven, 10, yep, 15. Make camp. Surges into a Northern Warg, who is three threat right now. We are looking at four, five, six, seven threat. So I make eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could get the Warg Den, probably be another Northern Warg, which is actually pretty fine. Yeah, all right, let's travel to the Warg Den. It's also daytime, so I could very easily take one of these. Pop it in play, engage with me. Put damage on a character. Might as well put it on this Welling Hall Preserver. I got plenty of healing. Uh, make camp will let me ready Quick Beam, which is nice. All right, engagements. I have to engage this Northern Warg. Shadow, shadow. Uh, and since I think I will be able to clear this easily, I might as well put two damage on Quick Beam to ready him right now. I can't heal him, which stinks, but that's okay. All right, I need to think. I need five attack, so an Ent and a Defender to kill the Northern Warg. I need six attack, which is an Ent and a Marthiel. Okay, I can make this work. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ent, Marthiel, Ent, thing. Yep, okay, so I have a defender. Defend this two damage attack. Gets plus two. Four does not break the defense. Treebeard is going to defend this attack. Hanging him gets plus one, so he takes a damage. We will spend those two resources to stand him back up. Four. Five is enough to kill this Northern Warg. 
four, seven. Kills a white warg. And I will heal Treebeard and the Welling Hall Preserver because I cannot heal Quick Beam right now. Yep, that is more or less fine. All right, we refresh, flip over to nighttime, raises my threat to 39, and reveals another white warg. It's actually okay. Uh, the two damage is not so bad since I can put it on Ents and heal them easily. And it's only two threat and two attack. All right, on to the next round, get one of these. Great. That actually really is great. Uh, I'm gonna move this resource over to Biffer. So close to being able to pay for Furial. I will put a jeweler in play for free, discarding extra Treebeard and Elven Light, which I don't need. Uh, I have a Faint, which is fantastic. And I can get an extra resource, but I don't think I want to right now. Uh, no, you know what, let me. I'm gonna discard this for a resource, and I'm gonna use that resource to pull back an Elven Light. I have two Gandalfs, which is good. Uh, I will be able to pay for them too, which will allow me to reduce my threat, because uh, we're getting a little high. And it is nighttime, so let's quest. Uh, I am gonna target Make Camp, because that will heal Quick Beam, and being able to heal is pretty pivotal to my strategy. So let's go. Three, five, seven, 10, 12, 13. It's not bad. We have two in the staging area. I think we're okay. All right, so we have five. I sent 13. Means we make eight progress. One, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Adds this to the victory display. Heals up quick beam. And now there are no more side quests. Uh, travel, I will absolutely travel to North Downs. I am forced to engage this white warg, who is going to, at this moment, do two damage to the Welling Hall Preserver. That's a shadow effect. Uh, I need six to kill it, which is actually pretty significant. Let me defend with Treebeard. Ooh, that's a nasty shadow. All right, so I get a warg back, uh, but Treebeard takes no damage. Topmost warg is another white warg. Who is going to do two damage? I will say to Treebeard, and it gets a shadow effect because it makes an attack. Guards one attachment he controls for each quest card in play. God, that is so much nicer to see as a shadow, especially in this deck, which has no attachments. And the defender takes no damage. Uh, I can two damage on quick beam, kill one of these wargs. I cannot kill the other one right now. I think I'm okay with that though. It's not great, obviously, but I can deal with it in the staging area. Or I could just kill it with Gandalf, possibly. All right, uh, that's it for me combat this round. I'm going to heal. Uh, let's do Quick Beam and Treebeard. Refresh. Flip this over to Day, which returns this to the staging area. Uh, Welling Hall Preserver is going to heal himself. Treebeard is possibly the better choice, but I definitely have Warden of Healing actions for that next round. Okay, and we move on at 40 threat. Awesome. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Here is a Furial who's going to help us avoid some nasty things. I think I'm going to save for Faint, and we're going to discard a Glorfindel for a resource on Arwen. I'm gonna save my Warden to heal later. It might come back to bite me if we get damaging effects. But I do have Furial, so that actually should really help. And it's daytime, so the White Warg is not as bad as it was before. 
Yeah, okay. Commit to the quest. My heroes make 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. Uh, do I want to send these two? I think I'll leave them for possible fighting. We've been just a little bit shy every time. All right, so my 16 against two, four. That is a perfect card. Makes 12 progress. One, two, three, four. It's me at 19, so I got one more round before I flip to the next stage. Uh, I will travel to Rugged Country. Engage these white wargs, who will deal a damage to a character. Uh, I'll put it on this Pathfinder. Treebeard should have one more resource this round, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, Treebeard's going to defend. Treebeard is going to take no damage. I need six to kill back. One, two, three, four, seven. Good enough. You're going to heal uh, Quick Beam and Treebeard. Long Haul Preserver will heal itself. We are in better shape than we were. I wish I could space my allies out more consistently. As I futz with them on the video. Alright. Refresh. Flip to Knight. Raise my threats. Reveal the card. That's fine. Next round. Trigger gets a bonus. Ooh. All right, so. I think I want Gandalf in play this round. I know we're gonna advance. Someone we're gonna deal with this pack leader. Which is gonna be gross. Might as well discard an Elven Light for a resource. And then I can do one, two, three, four, five. Uh, put an extra one here and leave this up for faint. Here's Gandalf. Drop my threat all the way down to 37, just to make sure I have a few extra turns. Uh, and we're gonna quest. Three, four, five. That should have healed itself. 8, 9, 10, 13. We should clear. Northern Warg is totally fine. Alright, so my 13 against 6 is 7 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Advances us to stage 2. And we are going to go looking for a Warg. See how long it takes till we get one. One, nice and easy. Not revealed, so that's handy. <laughs> uh, some other things happen. Ooh, ally discarding, that's gross. I'm gonna wanna make progress here very fast. Okay, uh, travel. We have to travel to Eridor Wastes. Uh, I will engage this warg with get the shadow effect. Forced to engage in Northern Warg as well. And then we get combat shadow effects. Let me spend one to feint this wolf Vangmar that is attacking for four. Who would have had a pretty beefy shadow effect. Uh, and Northern Warg I will defend with a Marthiel. Okay. Let's defend this one with Treebeard. One attachment, don't care. All right, no damage was dealt as a result of all those attacks. I just have to fight back. Gandalf kills this one. Four, five is enough to kill over here. Might as well heal my Dunedine. Yeah, okay, sure. So far, so good. Uh, refresh. Flip to daytime, which draws me a card. Gandalf goes away at the end of the round, and we are on to the next one. Play a Pathfinder? 
because it's free and I can definitely quest past a location. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only one. I looked at all the cards, but I only picked from the top five, so, you know, it's fine. I should still be okay, but I will have to discard an ally, which will probably be this Elven Jeweler. I can discard an Elven Light for a resource on Arwen. Yeah, I want to be able to play Gorfindel, so we're going to save those. And I don't have any healing right now. Uh, Tribute should have an extra one. This is fine. All right, questing. Three, four, five, six, seven, ten, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. This is not going to be enough to clear this out. It actually is overkill. 13? Because there's only three in the staging area, and I can only make five progress. So I'll send 13. Reveal North Downs. So, four. Ugh. All right. Four means that I will make one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. Cannot travel to Eridor Wastes, so I must travel to North Downs just to get that threat out of the staging area. I have no enemies to deal with, which maybe is great. All right. Refresh. Flip to nighttime. Discard a non-objective ally, which is going to be my elven jeweler. Having two of these is kind of bad luck. Uh, and we are on to the next round. Treebeard gets one of these. Great. One, two, three... Dwelling Hall Preserver in play. One, two, three, four, five. Let's me play Glorfindel out of my discard pile. And I have Elven Light so I can start drawing more cards or I'll just play Gandalf soon. There's lots of options. Actually, I don't have a feint, so I might as well play another Defender of Ramas. They are good sacrifice fodder for this nighttime effect. And we quest. Three, four, five, six, seven, ten, thirteen. And I can fury all the first one. That's okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five is literally totally fine. So, 13 against 3 would be 10 progress, but one, two, three, four, and I can only make five on the main quest. One, two, three, four, five. And I still can't travel to Eridor Wastes, but I will deal with that. All right, uh, Welling Hall, or Warden of Healing is going to heal up these two. Preserver is going to heal himself. And the other one will heal Quick Beam. Yeah, we're totally fine. All right, refresh. Flip to day, draw a card. That one I can bin, no problems. We heal one, two from my preservers. And we go to the next round. Get a resource here. Discard this Glorfindel for another one on Arwen. I can spend one to use an Elven Light. Uh, let me spend another one to use another Elven Light. Nope, don't do that. All cards, please. Uh, Darren's runes. One, two, discarding Elven Light. Deep Knowledge is probably a bad idea. Do this for an extra Warden of Healing. Uh, worst case, I can sacrifice one of them because I have a lot of healing on the board. Hmm. So I need a Warg. So I don't really want to play Hunters right now. I can definitely kill whatever they pull out, most likely. Let's just quest. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 16. We're going to get gated again and stopped. All right. I would make 10, except I can only make 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But, conveniently, 
Travel to Eridor Wastes, engaging this Northern Warg and dealing it a shadow effect. Deal it a second shadow effect during the real combat phase. And we'll defend with Treebeard. Exhaust a character I control. Okay. Treebeard takes no damage, which is great. Three, four, five, six. I could do more, but I don't need it. Yeah, that is pretty good. Uh, Warden of Healing will heal up Furial, and I don't think there's any other damage to heal, so... We refresh. Flip to nighttime, uh, losing a Defender of Ramas. And we are on to the next round. Faint is good, I will absolutely keep that. Uh, I will cycle an Elven Light, drawing myself a card. That one is good. Uh, I will use a second Elven Light to draw another card. Whoop. I missed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm all right for now. All right, nothing in the staging area. Oh, and I reveal Bloodthirsty Warg. I may have forgotten that once, but if I did, forgive me. Uh, my board is pretty gigantic. I'm not too worried about it. So, let's quest. Three, four, five, six, seven, 13, 16. I just want to get out of here this round. Uh, 17, and my threat is down to 38. Up against four. I make 13 progress, one, two, three, four, five, and just the one that I need. So, on to stage three, flip to Nightfall, yep. Add Pack Leader, and I don't have to do the other thing except shuffle this into the deck, which is totally fine. All right, all we have to do is make progress, kill the Pack Leader, Yep, totally fine. All right, I have to engage all these wargs. Only this one is going to have an effect when I engage, uh, except for this one. Okay, gonna be a little rough. All right, doesn't actually matter for these two, uh, but since pack leader can't be optionally engaged, it has to be last. This is going to do two damage, uh, which I'll put on Welling Hall Preserver. They can heal themselves up nicely. And then the pack leader comes down and exhausts three characters, which I think is going to be one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's right. So shadow, shadow, shadow. I get to decide how I want to defend these. Uh, Treebeard will defend this Bloodthirsty Warg. And I get an extra attack. Uh, one, two, Treebeard stands up. Defends this Bloodthirsty Warg. Uh, he should have taken one damage from the first one. Extra attack. Lovely. Uh, I'll have a defender defend this one. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so my defender is dead. But we don't, we don't, we don't make any more extra attacks. Okay, mm uh, Amarthio will defend this white warg. He takes one damage. And the pack leader is swinging for five. Going to kill basically anything except if I healed up Treebeard. Which I can do. I don't know if, oh, I do have a faint. And it's not immune to player card effects, so screw it. We're gonna faint the pack leader and not have to take this attack. So I, I could have made that work, that's okay. All right, two damage on quick beam to ready him. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Two resources off of Treebeard to ready him. And now we see what I can do. Uh, three, seven, kills a bloodthirsty warg. Let me discard an elven light to ready Orphandel. 
four, seven. Kills a white warg, and I cannot do damage to the pack leader yet. So, fun part. Uh, we heal. Let's take one off of Treebeard. One off of Amarthiel. Yep, I think that is just fine. We refresh. Flip this to daytime, which returns pack leader to the staging area. I discard all zero progress from battle with the pack. Uh, these two are going to heal two Ents, which is going to be Quick Beam and Treebeard. And we move on to the next round. Uh, I will Cycle Oven Light. That card is irrelevant. I will Deep Knowledge to draw two, raising my threat to 41. Uh, might as well go one, two, three for a Guardian of Rivendell. Uh, I will discard Extra Furial and Elven Light. I can play Gandalf next turn if I need it. Uh, and I can drop my threat this turn with Elrond's Council. So I think we are in good shape. I just need to make the five progress this round so that I can kill the pack leader next round. All right, questing. Three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 13, 16, 19. Uh, don't do that. Let's do 16. Yeah, let's make that 19. Uh, I will discard a card to stand up Gorfindel and play Elrond's Council to make it 20. And my threat back to 38. All right, and I can fury all this first encounter card, so if it's something nasty, life is good. Get a warg. Uh, I don't want that. Okay, that surges into Eridor Wastes, which I am actually totally fine with. So I sent 20. There is 8 in the staging area, so I make my 5 progress that I need. I will travel to Eridor Wastes, engaging this wolf, dealing it a shadow card. I am forced to engage this pack leader. And then they get shadow cards. Uh, I also had to exhaust two characters, which is going to be these two. Okay. Uh, Defender of Ramas will defend this. And he is... Actually, totally fine, because it's not nighttime. Three attack versus his four defense. Uh, Treebeard should be at two resources this round, which might come in handy. Uh, do I risk the Guardian of Rivendell here? I have three, seven. I need eight attack in order to Gandalf the pack leader. Yeah, let's tree beard the pack leader. Okay. Pick one damage from that defense. I do two damage to quick beam to stand him up. Two resources off of tree beard to stand him up. Four kills a wolf of Angmar. Four, seven, ten, twelve. Sends a pack leader to the victory display. Because it vaguely matters we might as well <laughs> heal up some of this damage before we end the quest because we're done uh, that is Waste of Eriador with a Treebeard deck played a little slow because I am not used to actually getting this far in this quest it's been a while let's see so 12 rounds not too bad uh, the ally swarm built up quite nicely even without extra resources I enjoyed this. This was good. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching.